Hi, I'm Sam from Website Riot. If you've seen any of my other videos on this channel, you know that I like to help the people that I work with basically save time and save labour by creating automated processes and flows within their website software that they use. Now, obviously, I primarily use WordPress. Now, this was the scenario that they had, okay? They've got a website and they've got about 10 different services and on each service page on their website they've got a feedback form where people can submit their feedback. Now obviously when they press submit that's emailed to the appropriate member of staff but they also wanted a way for other members of staff to retrieve that saved data. Now there is the way of course to log into the website and see all the data that's been submitted. However they use Office 365 within their office so they've got Microsoft Excel and they wanted the information that was submitted to be put onto a different tab of a spreadsheet. So it will be nice with postcodes, names, addresses, and all the different things that the client submitted. Hmm, so I thought, that's the best way to do that. Now, firstly, Gravity Forms on WordPress. It's a premium plugin, but it's fantastic. You can create forms, manipulate them, create conditional logic, all sorts of great features there. And plus there are add-ons as well. One of the add-ons is a Zapier add-on. Now, if you've not heard of Zapier, it's a third-party tool that basically works with a number of online services and apps, thousands in fact, enabling one to talk to another. If you go to zapier.com and look at the different integrations they have, they can make all sorts of services just chat to another service. So in this case, we need the website when a form is submitted to take that data and put it into the appropriate tab on the spreadsheet as a new line so that it updated instantly and they didn't have to worry about logging in, seeing the data and all that kind of stuff. Well, it can be done. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And honestly, it's not as bad as people think, is how. So this is the website that we're working with here and the actual form that they are using, we're gonna use this category, this service. Uh, and as you scroll down the page, you can see that they've got a form here and this is the information that they need to be submitted into their spreadsheet. Okay, so first thing to do is to get the Gravity Forms plugin. Now, I'll post a link to it in the description of the video here. And also, there are a number of add ons that you can get. And I've got the Zapier add on. I'm not going to take you through how to install it because plugins are pretty self explanatory when it comes to installing. But once you do, you'll be able to create a new form. Now, Gravity is superb for creating forms. Let's just create a new one now and just show you how amazing it can be. Because what you've got is your form title. So let's just call it Sam's form. We're not gonna give it a description, but I'm now creating the form. And then you'll have a blank canvas that you can work with in terms of your form. And then the addition of all of these different fields is so easy because you just need to take a form, single line text, for instance, and pop it there. And then you can give it your name. So let's open it up. If you want to make it a required field, you can. Uh, and then let's do the email address. There's all sorts of different things that can be done. So let's open that one up as well. And let's make that required to uh, you drop down boxes, radio buttons, all sorts. And there's also conditional logic as well. So if you go to advanced, when you go to enable conditional logic, you can show the field if certain other values are equal to a particular value. So, of course, if you have something like how did you hear about us and uh, they choose one of the options, great. But if they select other you could do it whereby this field only appears, the other field, for instance, will only appear when they select other. So all sorts of conditional logic can be done, but really easy to use. And then actually putting it on your page is as easy as just whacking in a short code. Or if you've got something like Visual Composer or WP Bakery Page Builder, just choose from the different elements that you can select and just drag it in. It's as simple as that. But yes, I've created my form for this already, so you can see it here. Here is the form already populated. And because I've installed the Zapier add-on, you'll see that there's now a Zapier connection here. So this is where we'll need to put in our information. So firstly, let's go to zapier.com then. So we've created an account and I want to make a zap. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. What you can do is choose a trigger app. So I'm gonna search for Gravity Forms, there it is. 
And a new form submission triggers when a form is submitted. That's exactly what we want to do. So save and continue. And then it says to send a request to the URL. So what we've got to do is grab this URL here and copy it and then paste it on to our Zapier feed. So we're going to create one. And then the webhook URL is this here. And then the actual form page is a family and home support form. So there we go. We'll have it as active and then click save Zapier feed. There we go. That is done. OK, and um, now what it's doing is so it says to send a request to the URL. So what that means is you need to go to your form and submit some test data here. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll just fill in this and then I'll fast forward. So now I've just clicked to submit the data. There we go. That is all done. And now I can move on to the next step. So let's just click OK. I did this. Now you can see that it's pulled in some form submissions recently and uh, there we go there's mine that's the one i've literally just done now so um if there are any others these could be previous form submissions but select the one that you've just submitted as a test and then we're going to click continue so we lack an action step so we need to add one now and what we need to do is connect it up with excel so you can find it in your recent apps here or i've got the icon right in front of me and then we need to add a new row to Excel and then click save and continue. We also need to choose the Office 365 account that we're going to link up to. I've previously done this, but you can just create a login and then it will hook it up to your relevant Office 365 account. So I'm going to uh, select the one that's already been connected and click save and continue. And then you need to find the location of that particular file. So I've got the folder and then I just need to find the file. There we go. Inquiries 2019. And then I need to add it to the correct worksheet, obviously. Now I've got about seven in there. So let's find them. Family and home support. Here we go. And then what you need to do, it'll check your actual form and it'll see all of the different films, fields you've got. And then it will, you need to tally your gravity form with the relevant field. So it's just a case of popping all this data in now. So let's do that. So there we go. We've now been through all of these. And that means that I should be able to just click continue. Now, what it's going to do is send the test row that I created earlier and put it into Excel. So let's try it now. Let's send the test. It says it was successful. So if I go to the Excel, there it is. It's just appeared. Brilliant. Fantastic. And that's now been added to the spreadsheet. And that is dead easy. So let's click finish. We're going to make sure our zap is switched on and that now means that anyone who is going to visit the website and submit that form the data will get put into the spreadsheet now i'm just going to uh, edit the name of this zap so that it's easy to find it should we need to edit it at a later date and that is now done so that will refresh in a minute with its actual new name. But there we go. It is as simple as that. There we go. There's our two zaps there. And you can have up to five zaps free with Zapier. And as I said, there are so many different apps that work with it and so many different integrations. Um, let me just have a look at the integrations section here and just see. I mean, look. Gmail, Twitter, Slack, Mailchimp, Google Calendar, Trello. I mean, I could go on, but there are absolutely hundreds and you can make one talk to another really easily there.
If you want to go onto a paid plan and you want more than five zaps, it starts from about £15 a month. That's $20 or so. But you might have, for that, you get, I think, up to about 20 different zaps. But, you know, given the amount of integration you can do, you can really save yourself some admin time in your office and get rid of that manual labor and increase automation. So, fantastic bit of kit. Certainly do recommend Zapier. If you like this video and you found it helpful, I really hope it did for you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be giving you loads of tips like that. Coupons as well for any services where you can get some money off. And give it a like as well because it all helps. And comment as well. See, to let me know what kind of integrations you've done because I'll be really interested to know how you've got it working with your particular website. But anyway, for now, all the best. See you next time.